Hi guys, gonna do another video here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna compare these Rage hypodermic broadheads to the Chinese knockoff broadheads. As you can see, we got a little bit of different packaging between the two, but what's most important is the broadhead itself. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a closer look at these two, see what's similar, what's different, and I'll give you my opinion. All right, here's a closer look at the two broadheads. We're going to refer to this broadhead as the Rage. This is the original factory version. And we will refer to this broadhead as the knockoff. This is the Chinese imitation of the broadhead. So what do we see that's different? First thing I notice is the finish. The Rage has a shinier, more polished finish to it. And the knockoff just seems to have a duller finish. It's just not polished like the original Rage. Next thing we see is right here. It's got a slightly different look to it where you thread it into your arrow. Now the points, I'm just pressing my thumb against the points. I did notice that the Rage seemed like it had a slightly, not a lot, but a slightly sharper tip to it than what the knockoff has. Probably the most important thing everybody's worried about, what about the blades? What do I notice about the blades? Well, let's open them up here and look. All right, here we have the blades opened up. As you can see, they look very, very similar. Got the same cutouts on each blade. They seem to be the same size. Everything seems to be the same. And what about the sharpness? I'm going to be totally honest with you, I don't feel a difference between either one of them on the sharpness. The blades are just as sharp, they're both the same sharpness. I know I've read a lot of stuff about the Chinese knockoffs having duller blades. I just don't see it, I just don't feel it. They have the same sharpness of the blade. One other thing here, there isn't a big difference here between the screw that holds the blades in as you can see on the Rage, it's just more like a machine screw. And on the knockoff, the screw is like a, it's like polished. It's like, for some reason, the screw is a little bit shinier on the knockoff. So now let's see about weight. Let's see if they weigh the 100 grains that they're supposed to. All right. I got the powder scale here. We're going to weigh each broadhead. And see what how much they weigh these are supposed to be 100 grain broadheads so we're going to start with the knockoff we're going to put it on the scale and see how much it weighs looks like it's just slightly under 100 grains all right now we'll start with the we'll try the rage the original rage and we'll see how much it weighs looks like it's slightly more than 100 grains we'll see exactly how much it is looks like it's 102 grains Probably what I should do is uh, measure each broadhead, but I'm not going to go through all that. I think the writing is on the wall there that they're not exactly 100 grains. So you got one that's slightly under, one that's slightly over. Alright guys, that was my quick look at the two broadheads. Got the Rage, the Chinese knockoffs. Well, here's the real, the real thing that gets you. As you know, these broadheads are quite expensive. I mean, you could look around, you might find them for $35, but most places you're gonna pay $40, $45 for a package of three. These broadheads I got off of eBay, $22 for a dozen broadheads. That's right. 12 broadheads for $22 versus 3 broadheads for $45. I know a lot of people might give me some flack, 
because I'm buying off the Chinese or I'm helping the Chinese in some way, which I probably am. But I got a pretty good idea that these broadheads were also made in China. I mean, it doesn't say anywhere on the packaging that they're made in the United States. So probably the same company that makes these for Rage is probably making these broadheads here, maybe with some cheaper components. But that's my little comparison. I mean, it's up to you where you want to shop or what broadheads you want to get. But I know a lot of people are like me. You saw these on the internet. You're wondering how good they really were. Well, I believe they're just as good. I'm not going to be afraid to hunt with them. I'm not going to feel like I'm losing anything by hunting with these. So uh, that's my little comparison. Thanks for watching.